James Murden here, and like many of us, I love my smart home tech. I've got quite a few bits from TP-Link, including the smart plugs. I've got the mesh Wi-Fi system, which I love as well to give me a great range and speed on my home Wi-Fi. But today I'm taking a look at this. It's something I've never opened before. It's the Casa Smart Light Strip. This is the two meter set, and I've also got the one meter add-on, which will work well together. I'm really intrigued by these because they've got some added features that you perhaps haven't seen on smart lighting before um, with custom zones, which I'm really interested to check out. It's also compatible with my smart speaker at home and the app has some pre-programmed designs and animations. So let's see if like other TP-Link gadgets I've tried before, it really is a straightforward setup process. Let's get these boxes open and see how we get on. So we've got the main box and the expansion pack. Let's open the main box first and see what treats we have inside here. Okay, so that's obviously the mains plug. Um, we've got the actual um, strips themselves, feel nice and high quality. And that is the Wi-Fi module, I'm assuming. That's a nice long cable on that, that is handy. And ah, a quick start guide. Let's have a little look and follow our instructions together. Um, okay, download the CASA app and add to the CASA app. Uh, okay, so I already have the CASA app installed from my other TP-Link gadget. So we'll press plus in the top right hand corner. We are adding a device. You'll need to select, uh, oh, got it. You need to select uh, smart lights. And this is the smart light strip. So we'll select that. Uh, connect the power adapter, control it and light strip together. Okay, so we need to put those three pieces together. So plug has just got a pin on the end of it. That will go into this uh, Wi-Fi module. It's got a couple of sticky pads on the back, which is quite handy. Just plug that one in. And then on the other end, this is good. This is several feet long, which is quite handy. That bit goes in to the light strip. Just press those in together gently and um, nice sticky 3M adhesive on the back as well, which is handy. So if you are sticking these to a wall or something, they're gonna be nice and strong. Plug it in, switch it on, and the lights, whoa, will light up to let you know that they are working. They are very, very much working. So back to the app, we can press next. Um, the lights are definitely flashing orange and green. So this is a good sign. We can click next on that one. Right, now we need to connect to the TP-Link's own Wi-Fi network. So go to your Wi-Fi settings, search for networks, select, there it is, TP-Link light strip. Uh, just wait a few seconds till you get a tick next to the TP-Link light strip Wi-Fi name, like that. Perfect, once you've got that tick, you can go back into the CASA app just to complete the setup. So let's just click back into that and it's connecting to the strip, still flashing orange and green, good. Uh, right, now it needs to connect to your Wi-Fi network, so pop in your Wi-Fi password and give the device a name, so I will call it James's Strips and press next. Choose an icon, we'll go with the generic one, that's fine. Uh, mount your light strip, so there's a few tips here in terms of how best to mount them, what to do, how to connect them together. If you've got the expansion, they literally just slot together, make sure you turn the power off um, how to shorten the light strips, make sure you unplug them. But it's basically just a peel and stick setup. So we are all set. Uh, firmware update, this is a classic for Wi-Fi products, so let it do that. Um, that is complete. Happy days. Now, because I've got the expansion, I'm gonna turn it off at the wall, connect the expansion strip and uh, switch it back on again. And it should hopefully, whew, look at that, it's very cool. Recognize the expansion packs. And now I've got the extra meter. There's a small join, but it's literally a centimeter where they tie up and they're really bright. You can adjust that. So we'll have a look at that shortly. So I can turn them off. Uh, I can turn them on from the app. I can choose the color. So we can go a bit of orange, bit of red, green, blue. And these, uh, oh, okay, predefined effects. These look cool. So we've got an Aurora. I like that. That's cool, very Northern Lights. I can imagine that maybe in the living room on an evening watching a movie. That's very cool. Let's have a look at some other ones in here as well. You fancy a little bit of candlelight, a nice sort of warm white, a glowy sort of whitey orange color on there. Um, this is quite cool as well. If you fancy a haunted mansion effect, something for uh, all seasons on here. 
and nice ocean blue really vibrant colors and this is interesting you can paint with these so each section of the light strip is represented by a square so if i tap these red look at this it goes red as i tap them so i want the next one's blue so we'll just have a few blue ones this is it's so reactive it's completely live and then let's have some green and finish off the rest of it with some pink so literally as i tap the squares they change color so really cool if you've got certain color schemes in your home uh, you can adjust the brightness as well as i said so this is really handy if you want it um, to be in control of that as well if you have got the alexa app make sure you click search and type in casa that's the skill that you need to enable when you've got that skill enabled you'll be able to use your voice and do things like this alexa turn james's strips blue alexa turn james's strips off Well, I did have a feeling I might quite like these, uh, and I was right. I love the custom colour zones so that you're in control of which lights are which colour. Um, the pre-programmed kind of effects within the app are a really nice added touch as well. And the fact you can control them from your Amazon Echo, from your Google Home, that smart things compatible as well, is genius. So that's them, the KL430 Casa Smart Light Strips. It's a thumbs up from me.